This car is taking an unusual amount of time to start and we know that this battery is no good. There's sulfuric acid across the top. The battery normally lasts two to five years and this one's old and it's failed. It needs changing. To do this job you're going to need a socket wrench, a ring spanner, a battery post and terminal cleaner, a one-shot pack of battery and cable protector and of course your new battery. So to get rid of this sulfuric acid what I have done here is I've mixed up a jug of bicarb soda and boiling water. I've got a few litres. I put on my safety glasses and I'm just going to pour it over the battery. That'll neutralise the effects of the acid. All over the terminals as well because I know that the battery terminals are full of sulfuric acid effect. We just wait for the frothing to stop and then we know that we've actually neutralised all of the acidic effects. So now I'm going to go about removing the battery clamp. So anti-clockwise I'm going to unscrew this 13mm bolt. Interestingly this battery is on the uh, left hand side at the front. So a lot of cars now have batteries in the boot. They can be under the floor, under the seat, in a myriad of places, but you really need to check uh, your manual for the specifications on battery type as well as location. Next step is to loosen off the uh, battery terminals. I've removed that battery clamp. So we're just going to loosen off the battery terminals enough so that we can remove them clear of the posts. Remove the negative terminal first, then the positive. This one's a little bit tight. You can use a screwdriver just to peel open the terminal slightly, just to remove it a little bit from the post. Here we have it. Now I can get rid of this leaking battery. Okay, so now the battery's out, we need to clean the battery terminal. So I've got this tool here from Repco. One end cleans the posts on the battery and the other end cleans the terminals. So all we do is rotate the brush inside the terminal until all the oxide is gone. So now we're going to do the positive terminal, rotate the brush through there until it's nice and clean. Now all we need to do is clean the posts on the battery because the post is lead and it becomes oxidised as soon as it sees air. So we need to clean that before we actually put the terminal on. That looks pretty shiny to me, pretty happy with that one. Now the negative terminal. Put the positive terminal on the battery first, followed by the negative terminal, that way we get no sparking. So now I'll just tighten the positive terminal. Now they don't need to be super tight, all we want to see them done up to is a firm fit. So that one's tight and I'm happy with that. The terminals are made from lead, so we, we can't put too much tension against them because we can damage the terminal post on the battery from over tension. So it's just, eno just enough so that it doesn't turn. Okay, so they're done up. Next thing is, the final step, is just to put the battery clamp on. We're just going to pull it down so it's firm across the top of the battery. Because the battery top is plastic, we don't want to crush it and damage the battery in any way. It's almost good to go. All I've got to do is put on this uh, battery terminal and cable protector. And it's a grease that we put across the terminals and hopefully it'll stop any corrosion. Just lay it on, it can't harm anything if it goes anywhere else. It doesn't damage rubber or anything. There's plenty in these one-off satchels to cover both terminals adequately. So we've finished the battery installation and really the proof's in the pudding. I'm gonna turn this on and show you that it's gonna start because I know it'll be perfect. How good's that? How easy was it? You know, you can't throw these batteries out with your regular waste. They're full of highly toxic material. So you need to take it to your Repco store. They'll dispose of it free for you and they actually recycle them. 